What's up, guys, and welcome to Dancing with Tech. We're going to be talking about Tesla. And I got a question for you guys. Is a semi sentinel humanoid robot a good idea? No. Tesla just announced their AI day a few days ago, and I must say, it was interesting. We primarily look at Tesla as a car company because that's what it made, a bunch of cars. However, you can also look at them as a software company. Look at all their cars. It solely functions off of software. You have a software company that makes electric cars. That makes perfect sense to me compared to other car manufacturers like BMW, Honda, Mercedes. Some of you say, what about the four? <laughs> or other car companies. Tesla has an advantage with the software side. All they do is self-driving cars, or should I say autonomous vehicles. We must agree as of today, Tesla is the most, or maybe one of the most advanced in the world. Some of you may say it's because of the, of the Tesla predetermined routes or the use of their sensors or cameras in the cars. It goes a little bit deeper than that because of their constantly scanning their environment, they are sending all the data back to the service to train the rest of their autonomous vehicles on how to make on the spot decisions learn how to deal with changes to the environment regardless of rain snow or any other road conditions that could be probably dangerous or whatever the case may be but that's only due to the tens of thousands of miles that tesla owners drive every single day because as you guys are driving it's sending all the data to tesla servers Tesla is continually self-improving their autonomous vehicles. This requires a lot of computing horsepower and sophisticated coding. During Tesla's AI day, which is hosted yearly to introduce new tech or questions from their engineers about their computer visions and how their neural networks evolve and explain their focus on autonomous cars and their synthetic visual cortex. They unveil their custom D1 chip, which is completely designed in-house. The D1 chip is made to train Tesla self-driving algorithms based on driving foot footage. They will be replacing all of their current GPUs with the new custom chip. Now, Elon Musk is on stage and he defines what Tesla is. And guys, get what you think it is. Let me know in the comments below. Well, he defines it as a robotics company. And I can definitely see how that works out. Semi-sentinel car robots, basically like transformers, but they can't transform. Or you could even look at this like, like humanoid robots just with wheels. I mean, if you think about it. So now you have a self-driving car and now a semi-sentinel humanoid robot. Gosh, that's a ton to us. <laughs> this is why Tesla's new D1 chip is so important because as you continue to drive your autonomous vehicles, all of your data is feeding into these future cars and now humanoid robots, which will help make better decisions. Now the Tesla bot is 5'8", 125 pounds, and it's shaped like a human and it's white and black with a sleek screen covering. Now the sleek screen cover is more like a, kind of look at this Iron Man, so how you can see all the computers and stuff. Look at it that way. Now the face is definitely covered with that screen and this humanoid has five fingers like a human. Yeah, five fingers <laughs> like we do. Now it doesn't have any toes. Now this robot weighs 125 and its max speed is five miles per hour. Now, it, it it weighs that much for a reason. I had to, it, I had to bring it back up because, you know, they said if something happens, you'd be able to overpower it. 
and the reason why it's five miles per hour so you could run away from it. I'm serious. Like Elon, Elon said it himself. At a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it. Um, <laughs> and, and most likely overpower it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but um, you never know. And of course, they say it's friendly as well. So we don't have to worry about no iRobot type of stuff. The whole purpose of this Tesla bar is to eliminate dangerous tasks, repetitive activities, and boring tasks. But man, since we talk about Tesla bar, like they just came to me, like let's talk about Boston Dynamics Atlas. Like their robots is off the chain. Like their robots, they run, they be doing all kind of aerobatic stuff, bat flips. It, it's a madhouse. Like, can you imagine such trying to fight one of those things? You know, it's crazy where we at with these computers and stuff, or shall I say robots, because I mean, people are infatuated with robots, or shall I say humankind, uh, factory, because you know, I mean, you got like old school, like stuff like the Jetsons, you got the robots, all that stuff that came on sci-fi shows, different types of robots, and just people obsession with robots. And it makes me think about some of these movies that they came out, how robots took over the world. It makes me think, is that a good idea to have robots roaming around? Because right now with a Tesla bot, you know, they said next year they're gonna be showing how the Tesla bot look right now because right now it's still in development and they said be out for viewing next year. Just like on um, Boston Dynamics Atlas, you know, they got the robot showing now and show how crazy things could be like but will it be available to the public? No, nah, not right now. I, maybe in 10 years, who knows? Maybe people may, may be able to get their hands on these robots. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be way more expensive than some, some people's houses and stuff, or cars, shall I say, they all want these robots. But there are some concerns that I, I have, and maybe some of you guys are like, hmm, is robots the best thing to use? I mean, you got all kinds of other robot designs and stuff like that that help with people, different things and situations. But I think like what human obsession to these robots, it might get dangerous. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments below, do you like our idea of future, maybe 10 to 15 years having robots roaming around? Just kind of like we've seen these sci-fi movies. I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> But as a nerd, I do love robots. I do like technology. And if I was given an opportunity to use one of these robots, heck yeah, of course I would, because I just love technology. But this Tesla event was very, very informative. And I can see that Tesla's trying to be innovative. You know, they want these humanoid robots to start, you know, learning different things. So that way they be able to do several tests not just one test because you know like if you got like a robot back cleaner its sole purpose is just a vacuum that's it that's all it does or you may have like other smart robot devices can't think of any but the smart robot currently but i mean they usually had this like one specific test but with the tesla bob it wants to be able to do multiple things and as it interact with us just like the Tesla cars, I have people drive the Tesla car, it brings in data and feeds it into it. Like those bots be able to learn, learn more. No difference in using your cell phone. You know, if you type in something, that word prediction comes because you use that word a lot. So I, I can see that happening with these Tesla bots. But like I said, guys, um, right now, I'm I'm waiting. I want to see how innovative this bot going to be. I definitely want to see is it going to top um, Atlas bot because you know Atlas been doing this for a long time. You know it, it. You know I saw the evolution of this bot. You know where it just do one thing now. Now just like running, jumping on stuff. So I mean we're going to find out, guys. And guys, also too, guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, send me a message in the comments below. Until then, guys, thanks for checking me out.